going on guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. About to be down here on this Saturday afternoon, 2.15 p.m. to be precise. I uh, thought we'd do something a little fun today. It has to do with food. It has to do with my cheat day. Today's my cheat day. I've actually slept a little bit this week and I've actually had some chips and dip. And uh, I don't normally do that. So I don't know if I'm going to eat all these or not. Probably not because uh, I slipped up this week. I don't usually do that. That's weird. But we got these two newish to me uh, different kind of flavors here at Pringles. And uh, I'm not sure exactly what they are. Um, I, I think it's Spanish. I don't speak Spanish. But it looks like this one here might be barbecue. I hope not because I hate barbecue. But it says B-A-R-B-A-C-O-A, -A -A, which makes me think that would say barbecue in Spanish. I don't know. And then it also says Los Calientes. Calientes? I don't know. Again, I'm not Spanish, so please don't uh, beat me up in the comments. And this one here is Verde or Verde, whatever, V-E-R-D-E, -E, Los Calientes. So I'm not exactly sure again, but uh, I got them. I thought, well, I'll try them, give them a shot. Now, one thing you might not know about me is I have had some of the hottest uh, capsaicin extract, uh, some of these world, you know, hottest foods, some of these hottest snacks and stuff that you can buy uh, that you see. You might see uh, out there on YouTube land with people doing them and uh I do them pretty well. I do the challenges pretty well. and uh, I've never given in on one. It's just pain for a little while. And then, you know, the next 24 hours, it's painful, uh, maybe in the stomach. <laughs> but uh, other than that, I can handle it pretty well. And uh, so let's go ahead and try a couple of bites of these and see how they are. This one here is the one that looks like it might be barbecue, which again, I hope not. I don't like barbecue. Hmm. Kind of has a barbecue smell. Now, I'm not just going to eat one. I'm going to eat three. That way you get kind of a little bit stouter, more direct taste. Honestly, not too bad, but I do think I do think that there's some barbecue flavor in there. I could be wrong, but it it does kind of have that going for it. There's a little tang, a little something in there. Gives a little bit of tang, tang. It's a good old drink. Dang. I could see me eating that whole can. That's what she said. Now let's try the V E R D E. And again, for someone like myself that has had some of the hottest stuff you can actually eat, these are not hot. But uh, for somebody who's who thinks like your standard hot sauces and hot chips and stuff like that are hot, these might have a little kick to them. Mmm. That tastes like a, I mean, that smells like a, like some kind of pepper. There's definitely a, kind of a little twang to that one. A Shania twang. Hmm. 
Interesting. There's a little bit of twangy, twanginess to this. And it might have some lime in it or something. Again, I'm not sure. Usually if chips or something have lime, there's a picture of a lime somewhere, but. Hmm. Let's try these again. I think a lot of people would probably like these. They have a little kick. And by a little kick, I mean a little kick. You know, like I said, I've had some of the hottest stuff. Hottest beef jerky, hottest gummy bear, hottest chip, straight uh, capsaicin out of bottles. You know, like Ten million Scoville, <laughs> you know. I've had some of the hottest stuff. <laughs> this one screams a little bit more. And I don't know how to term it, you know, say it any other way. Maybe more Mexican twist with a, you know, maybe your Mexican dinner. This one almost has more, sorry. This one kind of has more of that barbecue-ish kind of undertone to it, I think. That will go with, you know, whatever else. Burgers, fries, pizza. Or you can eat them by themselves, don't matter. Pleasantly surprised, guys, and there is a little bit of kick to them, which I'm also pleasantly surprised. So, pretty good stuff. Not bad, guys. Um, now, again, I've done some of the other taste tests and different things, but on my other channel. Uh, I could always share them on here if you wanted me to. That's up to you. Uh, you can let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments some of the hottest stuff that you've had, or if you even like hot stuff or doing the little taste tests or challenging your your taste buds and your you know your limits uh you know if you like doing that kind of stuff let me know in the comments it's kind of fun it's not like you want to sit around and eat like the world's hottest foods you don't just want to sit around and do that they're just fun just to kind of try you know like, I've had the world's hottest chip, and I don't want to sit around and eat a bag of the world's hottest chips. <laughs> I think uh, they're uh, called Packy or something like that, the uh, world's hottest chip. Uh, they actually do have the single chip in the box that you can buy, but then they also have a little snack bag that's almost just about as hot uh, that you can buy. And uh, I have bought them down the road at a convenience store, and... Uh, they're they're probably the hottest over the counter chip like that that I found that you can get kind of in a bag and uh, yeah they're pretty good they they got more than a little kick so anyway guys just something kind of fun and different to share with the community maybe something you didn't know that I do like uh, like some really hot foods and stuff like that and uh, I like to just kind of challenge myself with those kind of things sometimes so uh Again, let me know in the comments how you uh, feel about that kind of stuff. If you like them, if you don't, let me know. 
And also, maybe like, share, subscribe, comment to the Body Beatdown. That's me, Michael, your incredible host. That's me. And uh, don't forget, get up, get out, get red. Do it to it, and uh, we'll see you next time on the Body Beatdown. See y'all later. Get up, get out, get red, and do it to it.